going on everyone hit pause here welcome to this series uh, in this tutorial series what we are actually going to be doing here is we're gonna be giving this guy a weapon and the point of the series is just to show you guys how do you go about creating a custom weapon getting it in uh, getting it firing getting it reloading uh, getting it animating and doing all of the fun stuff uh, using blueprints and I just want to make a note that I'm going to be using this character and I'm going to be using very simple simple models for the weapons and things like that because it's not the point uh, we're not going to be trying to model a very detailed weapon and getting all the little parts looking clean or anything like that uh, we're going to basically have a box for a weapon so but the point is is we need to still follow a lot of rules because we have a very very complicated item right here to deal with and that is his hands so let's get started now the first thing I want to do is something I have actually done in a previous video when I put the armor on the guy I did actually show uh, me taking this out into 3D Studio Max, but what I actually want to do here is um, do that again. So, just in case uh, you guys were doing the same thing as me, say, trying to make a weapon for this guy, uh, if you have your own character, obviously this entire step should already be done. So, we're going to export this under Asset Actions, Export, and what I'm actually going to do is take... I have to do this one at a time from here, that's unfortunate. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay, so those are all gone, and now we're just going to put it here on my desktop. Save that. Yes. Okay, now we're going to set up max. Customize unit setup. We want generic units. One centimeter equals one. Okay. That matches UE4. And now we can import. I have a key button for that. Let's just go to desktop and pull that up and we'll grab that guy. We want to bring in everything so morph skins anything and everything. Um, leave as bones I think we may have to do this one or t two times. He's probably gonna come in rather small. Okay so the first thing we want to do is take his root just page up and we want to hit R and we want to put that scale back to 100 okay and then we need to delete this because it is in fact if I hit H it is in fact an extra root that has been brought in with the FBX okay so we can see we have root here but it's also this this object right here uh, is in fact actually just a dummy object and it's just there to hold the hierarchy but it's getting in the way of the export so we're gonna delete it now the other thing is let's just take a look if I take off the skin modifier we're good okay that's a very important check um, that everything works like when we do that okay just make sure that the mesh doesn't move doesn't get shrank doesn't do anything weird and let's go ahead and give ourselves a uh, test here so we'll go back to desk and we'll just say new and this is important to do this because we need to get the correct scale here for sure so SK mannequin new we'll bring him in uh, yes I want to overwrite um, yes I want to use the same skeleton so we're gonna use the UE4 mannequin skeleton we want to bring in morph targets, although there are none. Uh, we want to keep everything else the same. We want to uncheck materials and textures, and we do not want a physics asset, so we don't create one there. Okay, we import that guy. And we'll just drag him in to make sure that he is, in fact, the right size, which he appears to be. Okay, uh, he's standing taller, um, but he is, he is, in fact, the same size, so we're good. Okay. So now that we have the mesh here, we need to fix his skeleton because it's going to be a hell of a pain in the ass. So we're going to hide the mesh. And now, see how his skeleton's like, all the bones are all super tiny and they got no length on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to fix it. It doesn't always work. Uh, we need to go to animation and then we need to go to the bone tools right here. Okay, and with all the bones selected, down here sometimes sometimes we can reset the stretch 
which doesn't do a great job to be perfectly honest what bone is that the lower arm R rotation I believe well what bone is that lower arm twist okay let's go ahead and make all the bones one one 100 that helps them be more visible and again the reset stretch did kind of help but it never really does like a great job like in this case the ball here uh, let's unhide all here um, this should turn his toe okay as you can see they got a little bit of skin weighting problems here and there but nothing that anybody has even noticed um, where his ankle is I think is here okay so and that's off too you can see that's not even in the right location for the ball but we'll leave it at that for now because like I said this is not our skeleton um, there's nothing a lot there's not a lot we can do about it we're also gonna make his wireframe black so that when we don't have him selected we can see what's going on so here is our dude and I'll just keep this on the desktop in fact I'll just make a folder here and we'll call this uh, UE4 weapon toot like so and we'll say max files and this will be the UE4 guy uh, imported and we'll just leave it at that now we should have the ability to um, Let's go local here. We should have the ability to animate him and whatnot. Okay, this. Um, see, I don't know. I don't know what the hell this bone is and what it's trying to do. IK handgun. Uh, if I move that. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm a little nervous about this. I really don't know what all of this stuff is because I didn't make this guy. Um, so I got to admit that I am a little nervous that these things aren't going to work out so great. But we'll just go from there. Okay, so now that we got dude, we need to basically um, get him rigged up so that we can control his ass. So let's do that. We need to find his hand bone. I'm going to go ahead and do this kind of stuff here. Hand, and we'll go to animation, IK. We want the um, the high solver, the history independent solver. Okay, and we pick up to here. And now, this guy should be here, but he's going to be very small. Okay, so we need to increase the size of this goal object here so that we can see it just for now and let's take a look at what it does it does move his hand seemingly no problem okay looks good I think yeah looks fine okay let's do the same thing over here I have the hardest time with the way that they've changed everything so this hand Did I did I pick the wrong bone? Hand R. Hand R. No, I didn't. I thought I did. I don't know why. I thought I picked a little a little small bone. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here. Um, just zoom in so we can see that animation IK high solver, and we'll just pick where we know we're getting the bone and not the mesh, and we should be good now to move that guy around alright no problems okay so now what we want to do we are only gonna need to animate the upper body and that's a really good thing because all of his lower body animation is gonna be blended out from the hip down the only thing we need to worry about is uh, his upper body and that way uh, he can still run, stop, do everything, and we just need to do these animations. And again, I don't. I'm. My goal is not to make awesome 
assets, right? I'm not trying to make an awesome looking weapon. I'm not trying to make an awesome animations or anything like that. We just want to get it working. The awesome part is going to be up to you. Okay, so the next thing I want is I know I'm going to need some controls. And I know I said I don't, I'm not planning on doing awesome stuff, but I do need still some things. So I'm just going to give myself a little sphere here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it to this bone, including the axis. Okay, pivot to pivot. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to call this left elbow control. We'll make a dupe of that guy. It can be an instance, that's fine. And we'll just call this right elbow control. And we'll align that there. Okay, now we pick our IK object. And if we come over to motion, uh, there is a target for the solver properties. Um, and what we're going to do is pick the corresponding elbow bone. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for each one. Boom. Okay, so now what we should see is the elbow should try to maintain direction based on where this is. Okay? Always try to undo when you're doing these little tests, just to get him back to the root pose. It's important. <coughs> Other than that, I don't think we need a whole lot. I think that's about all we need. We should still have this ability. Yep. Okay. So let's unhide all. Uh, now, we could, if we wanted to, give our hands a control object. Shall we do that? You guys want to do that? Let's do that because that's kind of fun. Uh, and the way I like to do that is I tend to use either a torus or a circle and in this case I'm going to go with a circle and what I want to do is I want to align that including everything to that hand bone and then we're going to rotate that 90 this way so it's kind of like a sleeve for him okay and you'll notice <coughs> that it is exactly aligned it's just per perpendicular okay uh, this bone is starting to get on my friggin nerves uh, so what we want to do now is we want to go to animation orientation or constraints sorry uh, constraints orientation constraint okay and we're gonna pick this guy boom and that's gonna turn it 90 because remember it got turned 90 so we just need to say keep initial offset. Now we're going to take the IK controller and we're going to go constraints. This is going to be a link constraint. Okay, so now this object is controlling the arm and the rotation of the hand. Okay, so yeah, we're good. All right, and what we can do if we really want to is we have let's see we unhide this unhide all uh, we can take this ring we can turn it on in the viewport and we can tell the radius to be quite a bit smaller like so okay and then we'll just make a copy of that and this will be called left hand control and this will be right hand control all right, now we take this one and we want to align this one. So Alt A and click, axis, axis. And once again, 90 degrees like so. All right, want the orientation constraint. So I have that as a hotkey, Control Shift O. That should flip it, keep initial offset. I also have this as Control Shift L, boom. And now this will rotate the hand and move the entire arm okay so we have that ability and that should be pretty much about all we need to actually animate this guy so if I take his spine bones minus the mesh and we rotate that based on each one we should be able to bend him forwards and backwards we can make him kiss his own arse. I'm kissing my own arse. It doesn't look like he's kissing his own arse. It looks like he's uh, 
crotch inspector. All right, so let's uh, let's. I think we're gonna leave it here. So now that we have dude ready to animate, like I said, we can make him punch now. Uh, slap you! I'm gonna slap you, silly. So he can slap you, silly now. We do whatever he wants, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. In the next part, we are going to uh, create a very basic weapon for him. So I'll see you guys in the next one.